In this video, I'll show you how to use the preview user. Here, you have a button that allows you to see your Blackboard course exactly like a student would. So clicking on it brings us into the student preview mode. And as you can see, you no longer have access to the control panel or any of the other controls for the course, for this individual Blackboard course. So you can navigate as a student, you can take online quizzes, you can submit Turnitin assignments, uh, everything you do exactly like a student. Under settings, you can choose whether when you exit the preview mode by clicking up here, whether it's going to delete the preview user and all the data, or you can choose to keep the preview user data. So for example, if you take an online quiz as the preview user, if you keep the preview user data when you're exiting, so we'll just save and we'll exit, then it will keep a record. So when we go down, for example, into users, as well as seeing myself as the instructor, I also have the preview user record kept temporarily. And if I go, for example, into the grade center, into the full grade center, I will see also the preview user uh, along with their date of last access. And if I've taken an online quiz as a preview user, I'll be able to see the effect of it. So it's a a much stronger way to testing to see whether your course is working well or not than simply just simply turning editing on and off. Obviously you can turn editing on and off and that will give you pretty much the student experience but the preview student preview user is much more powerful. Uh, if you wish and just to keep your course neater and the preview user not in your uh, in your grade center you can change back at any stage to delete the preview user data, uh, preview user and all data. Hit save. And now when we exit our preview, if we, for example, go back down and look at the grade center or look, look at our users listed in the course, we won't see the preview user anymore. So it's a very powerful feature for testing your course.